Hi, I'm Teacher Joy, and welcome to my class. All right, just don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now for today's lesson, we are going to talk or discuss about, ta-da, soil erosion and its effects on living things in the environment. Now, what? is soil erosion what do you mean by soil erosion let's find it out all right i want you to look at the picture here or the video here soil erosion is the movement of rock fragments and soil from one place to another also it is the process that wears or wash away surface materials and move them from one location to another. So as you can see, the soil here moves from this location to another location. And there are some examples of soil erosion. We have the rocks are eroded and washed away by the wind and the water. As we get as what we have observed, the rocks are at the top of the mountain and it's slowly eroded or washed away by the wind and water. From the top going down to the bottom or below. And we have another example here. Okay, this is also an example of soil erosion. Observe what happened. All right, as you can see, the water washed away the soil. All right, that is an example of soil erosion. Now, what do you think are these? The soil, the rocks, these are what we call very good sediments. Now, when we say sediments, Sediments are the materials like rock fragments and soil that are transported due to erosion. Now we have some examples of sediments. We have the rock, the soil. Those are examples or these are examples of sediments. All right, now this time let's talk about agents of soil erosion. Agents or the effects of soil erosion. Now, what do you think is this? Very good, it's water. Good, the first agent of soil erosion is water. How about this one? What do you think is the second agent of soil erosion? Very good. It's wind. Now, what do you think is the third agent of soil erosion? Very good. Animals. And the last agent or the fourth agent of soil erosion what do you think is it? Excellent job, humans, very good. Now our four agents of soil erosion are water, animals, wind, and humans. Now let's talk first about water. Now as the water flows, it transports rock and soil particles from one place to another. The speed of flowing water affects the rate of soil erosion. The faster the water flows, the faster and the farther the erosion would be. And mud left on the ground after flooding is also an evidence of soil erosion or of erosion rather. Now, let's talk about the second agent of soil erosion. We have the wind. Now, as the wind blows, it carries light particles of rocks and soil transporting and depositing them in another place. 
When the wind blows, the particles of soil or sand moves along with it. And formation of sand dunes is caused by the wind in erosion. Also, because of wind, deserts were formed. And this is an example of sand dunes. When we say sand dunes, these are ridges of sand formed by wind and are usually found in deserts and shorelines. Now, sand dunes is formed when the wind blows sand into a secluded area. And now, let's talk about the third agent of soil erosion. We have the animals. When burrowing animals dig the ground, some rock and soil particles stick to their bodies. And as they move from one place to another, they carry such particles too. That is why soil erosion or erosion happened. Now, let's talk about the four agents of soil erosion. We have humans. Now, humans have a major contribution to the rate of soil erosion in the environment. When we walk, when we run, the soil erosion clings to our shoes. So the soil gets transported or transported from one place to another. And we have, aside from walking, we have other human activities that can cause soil erosion. These are, what is it? Very good. It's, ta-da, gardening. Great. How about another one? What do you think is it? Yes, quarrying. Other human activities that can that can cause soil erosion are gardening and quarrying. Now we also have other human activities. What do you think is it? Oh, very good. Mining. Great. How about this one? Yes. Mining, infrastructure, and construction can also cause soil erosion. Now, those are examples of Those are examples why humans have a great contribution to soil erosion. Now, it's activity time. Now, I want you to answer the following questions on your paper. All right, the first question. It is the movement of rock fragments and soil from one place to another. What is it? Very good. The answer is... Soil erosion. How about the second one? These are the materials that are transported due to soil erosion. What do you call the materials that are supported due to soil erosion? Very good. Sediments. How about the third one? It is formed when the wind blows sand into a secluded area. Very good. <laughs> it's sentence. Good job. All right. Now, I want you to answer this one. What are the four agents of soil erosion? Mm -hmm. Do you already have an answer in your paper? Okay, great. We have water, wind, animals. And humans, good job. All right, now what about, what are the other human activities that can cause soil erosion? Gardening, very good. Quarrying, very good. Mining, and the last one is infrastructure and construction all right very good you have answered questions correctly and that is the end of our lesson thank you